It's a great way to fix a broken axle. <laughs> That's a broken axle. It's repaired now. Huh? Said so it's repaired now. We're tired of messing around with Titanic. Oh boy. We're switching over to 350 horsepower and lighter traffic. Oh boy. Right. You're probably gonna see now the difference. This is the main reason that I wanted to do this is all the cars that we're messing with weigh like you say, a fuck ton. Right. And I'm. it's time to start putting in some lighter chassis to distribute the weight a little bit better and stuff so they can see. Because I know the horsepower doesn't match right now the times that we're putting out. Right. So now we're gonna put some a little bit decent power to some lighter chassis and we're gonna we're gonna see the, the difference in the results. Oh boy. So here goes the 350 horsepower sedan. And I wanna introduce you guys to our new project. Project White Trash. So let's see how we got here. Let's get started. All right, you guys, it is extremely humid, so I'm sorry, let me see if I write this down. It is extremely humid. Today is the day after the nine second bounty day. We have the sedan pulled up. We're gonna do something crazy right now. What's up with it? Oh shit, damn, broke broke, <laughs> damn. Uh, get up. Get up, Danny. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get Kind of spinning a little bit. Like high first. I just hit it. Boom. That's the first I've never broken like that, especially the second. Like while driving it? We got all hands on deck. We got Bolo and Juan. They stopped by. It's Saturday, so we're hanging out. We decided we're going to make this thing happen last night. So they're ripping this thing apart right now. I don't know how much footage we're gonna get because we got an MR2 on the dyno with a Haltech Elite 1500, so I'm gonna help out Alex with that. But I'm gonna try to get as much of this swap as I can for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Popping the axle out. They checked the other side, and the other side was just completely shattered, like 100%. But uh, it's O'Reilly's uh, O'Reilly's special, so we'll get another one ready to go from the warranty. But uh, we'll get this thing out. Probably it takes about 30 minutes to pull the motor, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then. Uh, they have to rewire the new EG and then go for it. So let's get it moving. Well, guys, it is out. The motor's ready. It is uh, 318. I gotta get a video real quick. Yeah, nice. Oh boy. Here we go. Time for a long day. All right, guys, so we're in the hatch right now. We switched out the suspension from the sedan. It's now in there. The blocks drag cool over. It's moving all the interior. We're gonna cut this thing up. Make this thing as light as possible. As you guys can see, it's already cut. But we're gonna we're gonna cut it even more. We're cutting this thing completely up, and uh, we're gonna make this thing as light as possible. Taking off the rear glass. We're gonna place this with Lexan. We're even taking off paint. We're dropping weight with the paint. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey. 
We should. Yeah, we have your old one. Oh no, we put that on the red car. Maybe we have another one now. Yeah. All right, guys. So the engine bay has been painted, cleaned up the car just a little bit, and then we've already done some weight reduction. So we took this is actually all into his old rear hatch until he went fiberglass on the rear. I don't know if I can open this. There we go. It's just, uh, like you guys can see, it's getting cut. We're going to cut it up a little more. Inside here is obviously cut as well. And then we changed the wheels, like Alex was saying earlier. Wheels change up the entire look of the car, so now it has the old sedan wheels on it. It's already looking completely different. We're going to get this thing going quick. All right. We got the new rear glass as well, so we're going to go ahead and delete the rear glass, throw a Lexan rear window on here. I think that's also another old Alenta glass. Well, are you ready? It's almost time to go home now. Dude, this thing's gonna fucking fly. Jesus. Oh jeez. This is going back to all the good luck she had Oh boy. Look at that homemade stock hat painted like carbon fiber. Damn. And then I got the old glass. Oh jeez. Losing some weight real quick. Yeah. Oh, damn, it goes right in the stock, stock holes. Or is that right from the old bumper? Damn. Oh shit. guys so for today we got the suspension and everything swapped over onto the chassis from the sedan put the wheels on it put the side skirts on it did a little more cutting on the car so I don't know if you guys can see when he's hit that that rear quarter panel there is cut out a little bit more I think he's welding the uh, spare tire back where it was cut so I'm gonna try to cut it open but give it a good rinse pretty straightforward we put the Lexan window on the rear. Jose went to the junkyard, grabbed a stocky G rear wing. We put the new cut up rear hatch. It's coming together really quick. Kenny, you ready or what? Ready for what? Nine second. Nine second? Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. So Bolo's been working hard. This is Bolo Tech built. What's that? BTB. BTB. So Bolo's put engine mounts on. We got the stock engine mounts in right now just to get all screwed up. We'll switch the engine mounts out, but just get it all fitted and make sure everything works correctly. Also, what we've done as well, Alex hit up his buddy, um, got new uh, windshield installed, ready to go. And then the other Kenny has been back here taping up the rear windows we're going to spray the interior down and get that all set up we're going to spray down the interior in the cage this car comes from uh i don't know if you guys have been if you guys have figured out this car yet it is actually the original single cam project from alex back in the early early 2000s um but yeah this is actually the show from the single cam car um we ended up saying we're going to go fast in a b series so we're throwing palooka his old engine in here no B18, nothing wrong with it. I know we posted on Facebook, a lot of people were saying things, but uh, we're going to get her going. It's not too bad. Today is Tuesday. We brought the shell up on Saturday, cleaned it out, did the whole thing, replaced the, the rear over there with the Lexan. Motor's in it today on Tuesday. Um, we're going to do all the interior stuff tomorrow and then hopefully get the car running tomorrow, if not Thursday. Go to the track on Friday, try to make a pass.
So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna be going through it the entire week here, showing you guys this build start to finish, and hopefully all goes well. All right, you guys, so I've gotten the motor in the car. It's Thursday. Follows putting the shift linkage in the car. We haven't figured out the fuel system set up yet. We're about to figure that out. Put new floor control arms on the rear there because the bushings in that one are actually like completely blown out and it literally didn't have a bushing, but piece by piece coming together. Get all this stuff laying around over here. But yeah, slowly but surely. So we're actually gonna be putting the weight bar from Follows Race Car on here so you can add weight into the front of the car to get it down, but it's pretty getting pretty close. And that giant hole there, like I said earlier, is this is actually Alex's original road race road race car, then turned into the single cam drag car. So at one point in time at an H23, and I think they were trying to do it for a K-series as well. This is actually cut for a K-series shifter, but the holes in the back for the B-series shifter are still there, so we're gonna use those and we're gonna have to close up the hole in the front later, but it's getting there. Piece by piece, we've just been kind of chomping away at it, but yeah. Also in the rear, gone ahead and painted the back so far. We haven't gone to the front yet, but we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, follow and bowl up to hunt down a chassis harness because it's all fucked up. Um, got the new engine harness and everything ready to go, but we got to wire it in for the boost by gear and the coil on plug. But we got the rear part of here painted up, ready to go. It's coming soon. We also painted the roll, I forgot to say, also painted the roll cage as well. So that's why it's, we're painting the roll cage in the floor. Don't know why, but that's what we're doing. But yeah, it's close. To kind of break down what parts we have in this car right now and why it's all oh, went to recycled goods. These coilovers here are off the sedan. These lower control arms are off of that EG coupe that we took apart and threw down on the ground that long time ago. Um, these wheels are actually Alex's wheels off La Lenta. These are the all motor wheels. These side skirts are the side skirts for my EK, my all wheel drive car. These wheels are from Follows EK, the blue car right there. Um, and then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna do a lot more stuff to it and see, but it has a lot of things going on. Um, what else? We need to be brake lines for that EG that we had. The car itself was an old used chassis we had laying around. It's just a bunch of used parts getting thrown together real quick. head I would say switching out the axle and then we actually switched the entire front suspension in from the uh, sedan 
and it actually rounded off the splines on the inside so we're gonna have to make new splines using a hammer WD-40 and an old axle and then uh, get her going doing what we can to get her going on uh, old parts You can put cams in like that. I didn't know you could time an engine like that. It, it, it makes sense. I just didn't know you could do that. That's, that's why you do videos. That's also yeah. true. I'll stay. I'll stay here. I'll stay behind the camera. Nothing about videos. That is the exhaust Just in case, no, you make, technical gurus out there. Making the internet mad right here. This is called advancing the process. Huh. Not you hit is not even, not even five pounds. <laughs> no, it's good. Setting the valve lash. This is a low nine second valve adjustment. Just the low nine second valve adjustment. Oh boy. Alright guys, so this is a couple days forward on the White Hatch project. I don't think I've made one since I think last Friday maybe, but Manuel's gone ahead, fabricated the upper radiator support, We've got the radiator in place, the intercooler in place. He's also gone ahead and welded on the end tank on this side of the radiator here. So we have a back door on this side instead of a side exit. So he's currently welding up the pipe right here. Looks pretty good. And we've also got the fuel cell right here mounted, ready to go. We're running the fuel system tomorrow. And we're leading on a new clamp from Precision, so it'll be pretty dope. And then Mineral's also gone ahead and added the traction bar right here, if you guys can see. And then the weight plates, so we're adding about 100 pounds to the front. So we're going to add some weight to it and make it rock, but getting all the pipes set up and ready to go. And then uh, we should be able to fire this thing up pretty soon. We still got a lot of things to do left, but uh, Manuel's gone ahead and mounted up the up pipe. He's gone ahead and done modifications to the waste kit as well, seeing so this set, set up here. Did the hood pins as well. He also finished up the tubular manifold here, or the, the tubular operator support here, and then set the hood pins inside as well, so it goes in nice and smooth. So what we gotta do now is we got to, he's gonna cut the holes out for the up pipes together, and then we're gonna go ahead and wire the car and put the fuel system together. So hopefully we can get this thing to fire up soon. But uh, she's looking pretty good, pretty close. That fitment on this side's a little bit good. It's looking good, so. Uh, we got a few more things to do on this thing and then it should be ready to rock, but all the intercooler piping is done. Turbo's mounted, everything's mounted up, ready to go. It's a matter of putting things together. We got to go back here and paint the rear part of the car as well, but uh, she's getting really close. It's looking really good. Can't wait to get this thing on the road. We got Bolotech machine, now we got Bolotech fabrications. Oh snap. So what they're doing now is Manuel's made a plate to cover up here since this actually was originally Alex's hood for La Lenta when the ITBs came through the hood back in like 2013, 2014. 
So we're gonna make a hole to cover up this and a hole to cover up that. Or I think they cover up this cover up that. Like I said, try to keep this thing as low budget slash no budget as possible. So Bolo's here fabbing up this uh, cover for the exhaust, or it used to be the K-Series hood exit. A lot harder than it looks. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Bolo's never done this, so he's trying to figure it out. But figured now would be a good time to learn it. Does it hurt your hand or what? Yeah, it's just fucking <laughs> hard. <laughs> All right, so Bo is gonna wrap the edge, the carbon wrap. He's lining up the weave to match the hood. Gotcha. Like black, because you can see it. Oh snap! <laughs> oh, baby, it looks all right. This is both tech fab. Oh boy! Getting this, getting this. <laughs> Bolo Tech Fab. Oh boy. I'm gonna put these shit here. Just weld it straight on. The white trash. Oh jeez. <laughs> Right here. People, where do we need it? Where can we put it at? Where do we need it? Opinion. What do we name her? This Wait. one? Yeah, what are we gonna name her? No, what are we gonna name the girl? What are we gonna name her? Yeah, what do we name the girl? Sylvia? 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 Yeah. Where, where are we gonna put Sylvia? What's that? Mama Juana. 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 Mama the real exotic. The real exotic. No, what? Nah. White trash. The white trash. That's it. The white, white trash. trash. Yeah, Kenny. Oh boy. Gonna be a lot of problems. Oh boy. Well, I mean, it is white trash. <laughs> it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, I like white trash. White trash is too good of a name to not call this car white trash. What's that? Hey. That's true. Hey, can you put the name? I, I, that's okay. No one's got. Like, oh, geez. Kenny Soto. You're always great. I can't take you anymore.